Welcome to this short introduction to the ID5100. My name's Ian Lockyer, I'm the Marketing Manager of ICOM UK and I'm joined by Chris from our technical team and we're going to give you a short introduction to this new radio. Chris, so what have we got? Okay, this is a new radio. Um, this is only a sample model, as you can see. It comprises of the main body of the radio, um, a, a head unit, and obviously the microphone that uh, plugs into uh, into the body. Um, it's got a really large, clear display, um, touch screen. Um, all the functions can be accessed by a brief touch. That even the function buttons on the bottom are touch buttons rather than the mechanical buttons. Chris, let's take a. A closer look at this head. Okay, um, so touch screen as I said, two completely independent receivers which are controllable by a simple touch. You can alter the main and sub bands. You can change mode. You've got a choice of digital voice, FM or FM narrow. You can change band. You've got a choice of two meters, 70 centimeters, or for the airband enthusiast, an airband button. Uh, and also on the airband, it's possible to select 8.33 steps, which um, isn't normally standard on a, an amateur billet kit, but it's a useful addition. Um, frequency entry, you can either key in the frequency using a virtual keypad. So if we wanted to go to 145.7, you can just enter the frequency. So so the touch screen like the 7100, it's really intuitive? It is, yeah. You've got function keys along the bot bottom, which are selectable. You've got three banks of function keys. For instance, if you wanted duplex, you just press duplex and you can select plus or minus duplex very simply or subaudible tone you can turn the tone on or you can have tone plus tone squelch if you want to adjust the tone you just uh, press and hold it to change the frequency um, it's got a built-in uh, QSO recorder so you can actually record many hours of, um, of QSOs uh, built-in band scope which you can leave scanning continuously um, so you can be scanning on one half of the receiver and you can be tuned to a particular frequency on the other so if any signals come up you can tune to them directly. You might not get the impression from this picture but it's much larger than the 2820 isn't it the screen? It is, um, it's very very clear. Um, this is shown in its sort of dual uh, band mode but if you press and hold the band wow. button you can have a single display that is really clear isn't it which is ideal for just single band operation uh, i can see that without my glasses on <laughs> quite easily and you've got an a effectively an a and a b vfo so you can select a or b so what other features are with this lovely little package okay let's go back to the menu um might put it on dual display uh, it's got built-in GPS and the GPS aerial is actually in the head of the unit so if you've got this mounted on the dashboard in the car um, you don't need to uh, to plug in any extra aerials uh, for reception of GPS. Uh, D-Star of course is fitted as standard and it includes a repeater list of all the uh, international and UK repeaters um, and it also includes a search mode where you can search for local repeaters just uh, comparing your GPS position with the, uh, the program Latin Long in the, uh, in the memory. Uh, other features include uh, Bluetooth. It's got a range of Bluetooth accessories uh, so you can have a cordless microphone. And that's a first for ICOM. It is, yeah. And also it allows for uh, remote control using um, using an Android phone. Um, there'll be both uh, free programming software and uh, an Android app 
available for it um, from the Japanese website uh, when, the, uh, when the, the unit becomes available. Uh, built in speech is standard. One, four, five, point, seven, zero, megahertz, FM. Uh, and it speaks out the frequency uh, and mode, which is, uh, is quite useful for mobile operation. Um, on the back of the unit, it's got um, uh, provision to put a couple of magnets and, and it comes with a, a fixing plate so you can just attach it to uh, the face here in a car and uh, it just removes very easily. There's just a, a single connection which just comes unplugged if you want to remove it from the car and maybe hide the body of the radio out of the way somewhere under a seat or uh, in, the, in the boot. So a really good top product to look forward to. Excellent, yep I'm looking forward to it. Well, thank you, Chris, for your time. Um, availability of this product will be in the first half of 2014. Um, stay tuned to the ICOM website, the ICOM UK website, www.icomuk.co.uk, for an update on the availability and pricing.